I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's some uh, pretty pretty good dents in the scene up there, the corrugated roof. Those are from coconuts falling. So today we have a coconut climber. He's going to climb two of our trees. We only have two trees. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's been a while since they've been harvested and uh, getting dangerous, like I said. We've had some coconuts fall out of the trees. This is our other tree over here right there but uh, we're gonna get a climber up there uh, I'm strapping a GoPro to his head so it should be pretty interesting to get some uh, POV shots of getting coconuts out of the tree let's go this is a sample of what has been falling out of the trees it's like a big big nut I mean it's it's hard and it's an old coconut. Still some uh, water in there, but I mean, imagine that falling on your head. Not very, not very safe. So, and it's pretty heavy. It's I'd say uh, I don't know, two pounds maybe, three pounds. Could kill ya. Got to get them out of the trees. The ones we're getting out, the climber is taking is the. Uh, the good ones but this is an old one I think they do some cooking with it so we'll probably save it open it up and I don't know cook with it yes
rien. So this is from the uh, first coconut tree, and they are six pesos a piece. Much cleaner and much safer. Forty-two. Mm, okay. Uh. And your sample. Change. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, Kajela. 42 times 6. Oh. Okay, so 42 coconuts were came out of two trees. 42 coconuts. At 6 pesos a piece, that's 252 pesos that they paid us. Uh, I guess they sell them in the market. So, uh, 252 pesos for 42 coconuts. Not too shabby. Imagine if you had a lot of trees. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, we, I actually paid the, paid him a little bit more, um, just because it's a dangerous job and it was a safety hazard, and I wanted him out of the trees. I didn't, you know, we we aren't gonna use really any of the coconuts. Kept a couple just uh, for some uh, for some good coconut, but uh, yeah. 252 pesos, two trees, six pesos a piece. I'm going to attempt to open this. I am not a professional coconut opener, but uh, we're gonna attempt to open this up. So, get the sundong, and uh, the way I've seen people do it is just uh, watch out for your uh, your, your fingers. Hey, I just want to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Mr. K. He bought us uh, a few beers. Uh, you can do that in the description down below. You can buy us coffee or a beer or whatever. But uh, shout out to Mr. K. He's been watching a lot of our videos. Thank you, sir. Well, we, we have not survived on the island because I cracked it and all the water fell out. The coconut water? Coconut water, so uh, our water survival is not happening. But we almost got it out. We almost got it out. At least you managed to open it up. 
This is way harder than it looks. Well, it's your first time, Pa. And you have to... Uh, and then bamboo's ready to eat. If we were going to a deserted island, we would really have to uh, practice this before we went. Bamboo likes, Bambu. He Bambu. likes coconut. It's okay. I just don't want him to get, you know, hurt. Careful. Bamboo loves coconut. <laughs> and this is basically for bamboo. Yeah. Because you say it's not that good to eat? No, it's for, uh, like, you know, the coconut cream. That's the kind of coconut that's for the Hold coconut on, boy. cream. Hold on, boy. But Bamba can have it. Oh, just about. Watch out, boy. All right. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, all there's... right. So there's our crack and where we lost all of our, our water on the ground. Let me get this open, Bamboo, and you can have some. <laughs> he is excited. Uh, Bams! Oh, boy. Hold on, boy. <laughs> he knows. He knows. It's for him. This is the kind of coconut you, you get in the States. This is, this is what I like. Mmm. Yeah. I like the baby coconut. Mm. Yeah. You want that? Mm. Oh yeah. Oh mm, my. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. It maybe took me 15, 20 minutes to get this out of the the husk. Coconut. Let me. Hopefully, the first of many. We have more of this. Mm. Well, I don't really like the soft coconut. Oh, okay. I like the hard. This is what you like? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Okay. We did it. So this is the coconut I got, the meat. This is what I like. I like the hard coconut over the slurpy soft coconut that they come out of the fresh coconuts. But this is uh, my favorite. This is what I grew up on in the States. You'd buy the little coconuts in the produce section and uh, this is what would happen when you cracked it open. So this is what I'm familiar with. Let me. Kind of a different perspective in uh, climbing coconut trees. Instead of watching them from the ground, it's pretty cool to see how they go all the way up to the top and, you know, get inside and grab those coconuts and hoist them down. Boy, that is a dangerous job. And uh, no safety gear, no belt, no boots, no gloves. Just a uh, a pair of shorts and a machete and a saw and a rope but uh, anyway sometimes these trees can get up to 50 60 70 feet in the air and uh, pretty dangerous you know I used to work for the phone company we'd go up 28 feet mostly ladder sometimes hooks but uh, not very often but uh, anyway quite the job and uh, I'm glad we got the coconuts out of the trees much safer but uh, anyway, appreciate everybody out there watching our videos and uh, hopefully we'll get another one up for you next week. So stay tuned and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.